In this video, we're going to look at text-to-speech, which is part of the um, Xamarin Essentials APIs. And to be honest, this video came to be because I read a comment wrong. Um, in that comment, someone asked me, hey, can you show me how to do speech to text? But you know, I read over it really quickly and I thought they were saying text-to-speech. So here's a video on text-to-speech and I think in the near future, you can also expect one on speech to text. But let's first look at this one. So what you see here is a file new Xamarin Forms application. On the left, you can see the XAML page and on the right, you can see it running on the iOS simulator. So this is basically the default template that comes out of the box whenever you run this now on Visual Studio 2019 or Visual Studio 2018 for Mac. Um, so here it is. And by the power of hot reload, I can just start editing here. So I can here say text to speech sample save that and boom, it will update automatically. So that is very cool. Um, now I don't need all the rest of this UI. So let's make this a little bit more useful to whatever we are doing. And for our case, I'm going to implement a little picker here. You will see why in a little bit and give that a name. And here we are going to show all the langu languages, there we go. And underneath that, we're going to have an entry, which will take the text that we actually want to, you know, um, speak. So um, text to speak, talking about a nice name. And we're going to have a button to actually trigger that speaking um, action. So here we go, text is speak, please. You know, always be polite. And we're going to have a clicked handler for that, create a new one. And there we go. So now our UI is basically ready. Only one thing is seems to be wrong. I don't know what that is. Let's try that again. Maybe the IntelliSense is just having a weird day. Okay, I think this is okay. So here you can see the new UI showing up on the right. We have a picker which does nothing at the moment. Um, here we have an entry where we can enter some text and this is the speak please where we can do our actual speak action. So we've implemented this, that's pretty cool. Now let's go to our main page code behind. Um, I have it open here already. And you can see the button clicked handler is here. Um, and of course, like the other things that you would expect from an empty page. So the first thing I'm going to add here at the top is the using Xamarin Essentials. So, you know, that makes it a little bit more readable. And um, so if, you, if we're going to explore this API, we're going to go to text to speech. Um, there we go. And it has a couple of things. So it has get locales async. Um, and that gets all the locales that are supported by your device um, to use text to speech on. So this will give you a list with like, you know, for instance, English, Dutch, French, I don't know, all the things that are supported on your device. And this is one of the things that we need to specify um, for the actual text to speech. So it's it knows which language to um, put out there. And it will sound a little bit better because you know, if you're going to enter Dutch text in an English uh, voice, then that's not going to sound right. So this is the, the list that we're going to show in our picker. And then we're going to get the actual chosen option from the user. And we're going to use that for um, speaking the actual text. And the other API we are looking at here is the speak async. So that does the actual speak action. So that's going to um, utter our text in the um, locale that we have selected. Now there's of course one problem because this does async. So uh, we can either solve this not so nice in the constructor or you know another workaround if you have to deal with this stuff is to um, override the on appearing. And here you can say I want to have this as async and now we can do all the things. So actually let us introduce a new variable here at the top level, which is going to be an I enumerable of that locale that we've been looking at. Um, let's call it locales, that's fine. And here we're going to say locales is um, text to speech 
dot get locales async so there we go and of course we need to await this that's why we were doing this so now on each on appearing of this screen so note that might not be very um, efficient if you are going back and forth between different screens but hopefully you're using some kind of mvvm pattern or framework where you could do this another way um, or you could you know just see if there's something in your locales collection already and then skip this um, but you know this is just to show you another way to overcome like this async await pattern that you cannot use in the constructor here um, so now we got our locales so that is great and then on our button clicked we are going to see like oh wait we need to do something extra because now it's just in our variable we actually need to um, you know put this in our uh, picker so for each var l in locales we are going to do this in the languages.items items dot add and we're going to use l dot so this has a couple of things the country the id the language the name so let's go for the name i'm going to assume that they are unique um, so we are going to put all the names in there of the languages um, and if you're looking for like the the iso um, formatted kind of things then I think you need the languages so that's going to be like the en dash us or nl dash nl that's kind of things but I think the name is probably going to be like the human readable form of this locale so um, let's see what that brings us then we're going to go over to our button and we're going to look first if our languages has a selected index of more than zero because else probably things will crash so let's see if the user actually selected a uh, language to speak and from there we are just going to say text to speech dot speak and here you see a couple of things so we're going to need the text which is going to be our text to speak nice naming here dot text there we go and um, this should be enough and this is going to be using the default option so I'm going to assume that this does the English voice uh, but you know so we have the picker in in place already so let's just use that and we have one override here that takes speech options so let's create a new speech options and this has a couple of properties it takes that locale that we selected um, it takes the pitch and it takes the um, volume so you can also play a little with the pitch and the volume that's kind of funny so you can make the voice sound a little bit higher or the volume can be um, um, you know louder or softer uh, but I'm just going to use the locale for now and um, actually what we need to do here then is do that locales dot um, single so I'm going to skip over a little bit of error checking here and this is a little bit of link magic and here we are selecting where name is going whoops name is going to be the languages dot selected item dot to string so this might seem a little bit of magic if you've never worked with this before also link uh, link is written l i n q um, has a couple of extension methods that you can mostly apply on like collections and other things as well uh, but on collections and here we say like we're going to select a single um, from from this um, a single value from this collection and um, to you know select that actual single value we're going to uh, supply this lambda here and this is going to be you know the value going in so this is basically it will skip over all of the items in this collection um, and you can reach those uh, with this l and whenever the l so the locale that we are looking at currently dot name equals um, the name that we selected in our picker so it has a selected item that is just the um, item that we added here to our picker um, so that's just going to be the the name string here that's why I call the to string because you know it can be any object basically um, but now I know it's just a string um, and we're going to see whenever that is true then it's going to pick that locale for us and assign it to the locale property of this speech option so I hope that makes a little bit sense um, and actually that is all we need to do so I need to stop and restart the application now real quickly because you know we made changes in the code and that is not um, he hot reloaded yet maybe that's yet to come who knows what might happen uh, but here we go the app should come up again 
and now everything should be in place. So if we go into this picker, then we see all the languages here. It seems I was incorrect. So this is still all the ISO kind of, um, you know, values of, of all the locales that are in there. Um, and if we're going to go to like, you know, my native tongue, so NL, NL, done. And we're going to say, hello, allemaal, who gaat het, which means, hello, everyone, how's it going? <laughs> I see there's some um, some auto suggest going on here because the the simulator is probably set to English, so it now says hello all email. How is it going? Um, well, anyway, so let's let's go to English and um, see if we can can do a little bit with that. And we're going to remove this, and we're going to you know do something completely random like. Uh, I don't know, what should it be? Have you subscribed to Gerald's channel yet? You should. And speak. Have you subscribed to Gerald's channel yet? You should. So here you go. You can see this just works. And um, so it, just to show you what happens if you do the wrong locale with the wrong um, kind of like um, language in, in the text. So we're going to do Spanish now. And you can see that, um, well, not see, you can hear that it sounds kind of funny, right? So uh, you should probably make sure that, um, yeah, they, they entered the right kind of language. So um, that is all there is to it to make text-to-speech work on your devices. Um, I'm not sure actually if this will work on the Android emulator. I think I tested it on an emulator and it didn't really work. It does at least work on the iOS simulator. Um, so if you want to be really, really sure, just hook it up to your physical device and, um, you know, it will work on that um, either way. I keep being amazed by the simplicity of Xamarin Essentials. With just two APIs, they've enabled us to write text-to-speech functionality in just a few lines of code. That is so amazing. So this was it for another Xamarin Essentials um, API kind of review, walkthrough, however you want to call it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like this video. Let me know in the comments, um, just like, you know, how we started this video, what topic you would like to see next. If you would like to have a little bit more priority with what topic you want to see, please consider joining my channel as a member where you can do just that for a small fee. And I will be seeing you for my next video.